moly. Oh, plastic surgery. It's age. Man, man. it's not age. That's uh, age prevention. <laughs> and age prevention like gone just, bad. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I believe all the all the singing comes from the throat now. It's like dust. Yeah. Can't move the lips, so actually he's able to form the words out of his throat. It's a new technique. It's incredible. Uh, 650, Willie Waffle on the line right now. Good morning, Willie. The great philosopher, Kenny Rogers. The great philosopher. Yeah. I, I do like him in the new, uh, what was the commercial that he does? He's uh, Geico? Is it it's Geico? For that, with that song. It's with the song, that, yeah. yeah. That's good. Hey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm with you, dude. Like, you know, this is why I'll never get plastic surgery. It never works out, ever. Oh, it, it, I don't know if that's true. Well, it, I... <laughs> I, I guess the uh, the the Botox has improved things, and that wears off, right? So you can you got to keep getting the shots and stuff. But you see some awful, horrible pictures of, of yeah, celebrities, yeah. especially, right? Yeah, in some in some cases it does help, but uh, you can almost always tell that it's been done. Oh, you've had work done, right? Yeah, right. It's inevitable. Well, which is why Joan Rivers was the best because yeah. Joan Rivers she exploited that and and she uh, she embellished it. And she had a good time with it, and that made it work, right? She, yeah, made she owned it, it, man. She, she owned she it. She made it part of her bit. She made it part of her persona, and it totally paid off for her. Brilliant. That's what I say. Well, until right. the end. I mean. um, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Although that wasn't a, that wasn't a plastic surgery procedure. No, it was a, that it, she... was a, it was a nasal issue going yeah. on, and, and I don't know what he did, but he killed her. It's terrible. Maybe he didn't kill her, but she died. All right, Willie, uh, big weekend, right? Memorial Day weekend, traditionally, as you were saying, is blah, blah, blah. The movies come out last week. But this year, looks like uh, things are a little different. Well, at least as far as, you know, big movies, movies that are anticipated, movies that people are talking about. I mean, you know, you are talking about X-Men Apocalypse. You know, it seems like X-Men has owned Memorial Day every year that they bring out one of these things around Memorial Day. And this year, they, they may own it again, but it's a cheap owning. I mean, it's, mm. it's not... It's not a movie for the uninitiated. It's also not a movie for people who like action and thrills. So you've got some problems with this film. You know, it's Oscar Isaac who plays Apocalypse. He's the world's oldest and most powerful mutant, and uh, he has been resurrected. He's been unearthed from underneath the pyramid that he was trapped in for years and years and years, and he thinks he's a god. And he wants to, you know, take over the planet, have all the mutants run it, get rid of all the human beings, and he feels that the way to do so is to use one Professor Xavier. Mm. Yeah, and, and that would be cool if they just focused in on that. But there are so many characters and so many stories, and they're trying to get, like, every little character in here that every, you know, esoteric fan likes, you know, and, and that weighs down the movie. Plus, they're not really focused in on those characters. It's almost like they're throwing out a whole bunch of stories and a whole bunch of characters so they're available for the next movie, rather than kind of telling this story, making this story exciting. And Apocalypse is just dull. I mean, he just doesn't have the charisma, man. You just know Donald Trump would get rid of him in five seconds. <laughs> uh, what are you What are you giving this? I am saying one and a half waffles. Oh, boy. Uh, as long as we're talking about that, I did go to see Captain America, which I thought was really good. And you talk about the... the, uh, the uninitiated. Un uninitiated. It's perfect because I, I really didn't pay attention. I'm not a comic book guy, so I was kind of lost. I did like it. It was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. But you know what I was, I was noticing, Willie, is... The, the quick shots during the fight scenes and any of that stuff, um, is that taking care of the new generation, the younger people who have no attention whatsoever? Um, yeah, or, or maybe is that's it, part of it. I think the other part is it just covers up a lot yeah. of bad uh, stunt work and yeah. bad acting as far as physically you know, staging the fights. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. and uh, yeah. Because it was just shot, 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 and you couldn't even follow it. It's like, I don't know what happened, but I got to tell you it was violent. I can tell it was violent. And it is. It's a cheap reality show way to show, you know, uh, some sort of uh, chaos. Yeah, um, and, that, and that's what they're trying to do. You, know, yeah. you, you used to see this with Steven Seagal movies. You know, Steven Seagal, when he got, you know, extremely overweight, they, they, yeah. would, they would film it in a way that, you, you know, he only had to look like he was throwing one yeah. punch because he'd probably throw that one punch and be like, dude, I need like 10 minutes, okay? It was so bad, Steven Seagal looked like Marlon Brando just trying to lift his leg up at the end, if you remember. I, <laughs> I mean, Aww. but they moved the shots around and it was, um, uh, yeah. I think it's dizzying and it's, it's disorienting when they 
they do that. It, they it did it is. to some extent in the Lego movie, but I, what comes to mind to me, and Willie, I'm sure you saw Speed Racer, like that yeah. actually hurt my head because the th- scenes yeah. were That's so That's kind of well, how my wife described this. She said, I actually thought I was going to get a headache trying to figure out in those fight scenes. Mm-hmm. And well, and that's the thing that gets me. Like 20 years ago, if you had submitted some scenes like this, you would have been laughed out of Hollywood. Yeah. And they would have called yeah. you an incompetent director. Yeah. Yeah, did somebody edit something? Somebody did the film break in the back room and they put it back <laughs> together wrong or something? All right. Uh, although, speaking of my wife, she's very excited about Alice Through the Looking Glass. What do you think? Well, I'm glad somebody is. I mean, it's, it's oh, her and it's Amber Heard because Amber Heard sees yeah. this as her settlement money. Mm, okay. Yep. Mm. Yep. Johnny Depp's back. He's earning a paycheck so he can pay off his ex-wife. Okay, or that's what it is. Yeah. I, and, uh, I assume you, mat- did not, you did not like this. No, I didn't because, mm. you know, it just it felt pointless. I mean, the whole story is that the Mad Hatter thinks his long-dead family is alive and nobody believes him, so he's fading away. And that means Alice has to, like, go fight Father Time and go back in time. And she's just jumping around without any purpose. It feels like they just thought it would be funny to make the Muppet Babies version of Alice in in Wonderland. So we're going to see the Red Queen when she was younger. We're going to see the Mad Hatter when he was younger. I mean, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't all come together. You need to tell a story. They're not telling a story here. We're just jumping around. And and even though Helena Bonham Carter is very good, Johnny Depp is very good, very good. There's not a lot of, of, of meat to this movie, and I think that's what takes it down. Uh, what are you giving it? One and a half waffles. Oh, boy, your optimism last week has just fizzled here. Well, good thing the weather's nice this weekend. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. We yeah. have something to do. Uh, yeah. Anyway, by the way, in, in fairness, that Captain America was a good movie. I, I did like it. Uh, oh, I'm, yeah, Captain I'm, America's yeah. a great movie. You know, hey, Jungle Book is very good. Angry Birds will do the job. I mean, there's enough stuff out there. I just wish that I knew more about comic books. I, I probably would have enjoyed the, oh, that's so cool how they made the reference and all that. And I and I know nothing about any of that stuff. So. You know, but at least with the Captain America movie, there's a bunch of moments like that where, you know, yeah, somebody like me who knows what they're talking about, yeah. it's funny, I get it. But if you don't get it, there's enough other stuff that you do get that everybody's in on. Yeah. And, I, and that's where X-Men falls short. It's like you need to know this and this and this about this character for uh, any of that to make sense. Okay, yeah. so you got to be an X-Men it helps. Yeah. It helps a lot. Yeah, all right. All right, Willie, good stuff. It's uh, wafflemovies.com before you go to the movies, or even if you're sitting home and you want to pick up something, go through the archives uh, before you do a pay-per-view or something. Willie's uh, got the reviews up there. W- and it prevents you, Willie, from wasting your time on something like, um, you know, Alice Through the Looking Glass. <laughs> all right, good stuff. Enjoy the weekend, Willie. Thanks. All right, we'll talk to you later. Willie Waffle. Okay, coming up, we'll come right uh, with a... Actually, next hour, we're loaded up. I have uh, George Phillips in, uh, who is running, of course, for Congress. Uh, he, in response to uh, Stephen Wells yesterday. Also, the fact that we're going to be doing a debate here on the radio on June 13th, Monday, June 13th at 8 a.m. It will be Stephen Wells, George Phillips, and Assemblywoman Claudia Tenney, all in the studio. It'll be on our TV uh, simulcast as well on WFXB, Fox 33, as well as here on WYBX. Really excited about that because we're really going to be able to, for the first time, compare all three candidates. But George Phillips next hour. Also, Bill Morehouse and all the inner, in, inner dealings and all the details on what went down with this Hotel Utica deal. And we'll get more into the issue of the pediatric uh, thing that's going on here. Triple A. I mean, we're loaded up. I might just get so excited next hour, I just have to leave. I, I, I don't know. I might not make it to the 8 o'clock hour. We'll see. Uh, hold tight. Coming back at WYB.